Welcome to Walt's How To's and Reviews, where we're super efficient, going to get you the quickest, most thorough, brand new Apple AirPods review. Um, we'll do the unboxing now. I mean, let's be honest, it's not that cool. It's a box with stuff in it. So, the new AirPods, they called them the Pro, and my prediction is after playing with these for a day and a half and using them a lot, they're going to live up to the name. I think they're actually really, really, really good. I remember when the first AirPods came out, everyone thought they were going to be kind of lame, and then they're one of the most popular items out there. I think they did it again. I was really, really impressed. I'm going to show you later on some uh, tests I did with like noise cancellation and stuff. They're pretty impressive uh, AirPods. So, you know, this cable, you can see it's a USB-C to lightning, so they're kind of getting ready for that transition. Um, it doesn't come with a plug for your wall, so think about that when you're buying them. Um, got some different ear setting fittings, and when you actually go to open up the case next to your phone, if you don't have the newest iOS version, it's going to prompt you to download it, so you're going to have to download it. After you do that, it's, you know, Apple Magic. Super, super easy to, uh, that's all you got to do to connect is hit that button. And then they go through a real quick tutorial, which is pretty nice because it tells you, you know, how to use them, all the cool stuff about them. No more of the tap feature. It's a, you know, force sensor that you press that you can see right there. But, um, yeah, I'm not going to waste your time with any of that. They're just slightly bigger, the case at least, than the original AirPods. Um, just a little bit fatter and uh, pretty much the same size, though, just, you know, reversed longer you can see the difference between the two nothing too exciting there's the new airpod all right so the big new feature with the apple airpods pro is the noise cancellation so i'm doing a high pitch noise about 90 decimals and of course over the ear headphones are going to outperform in ear headphones with noise cancellation right wrong i was actually astonished i did not expect it but the apple airpods pro did better i think it's because they create a seal not sure why, but they do better. I even tried it with mid-range and more bassy noises. They outperformed it. So we know they're water resistant, but everyone really wants to know, are they snow resistant? And yeah, you can actually see in my ear, there was a lot of snow. I let that snow melt so they could get a little wet. Had no issues at all. So that actually works pretty good. The big question is, are they worth the extra money to upgrade or to just go ahead and buy those instead of the old ones? And if way better sound quality is worth it to you, as well as active noise cancellation, I would say yeah. Yeah, they're less likely to fall out of your ear, and the water resistance is cool, but I don't think that's a big deal. The transparency mode works great, the air pass-through so you don't feel pressure works great, the adaptive EQ works great, battery life is about the same, but I think these really are pro.